Welcome in, welcome in, come on in. Welcome back to the channel once again. Welcome back to the channel once again. Just come on in, catch a word, and be blessed on this morning. Happy Wednesday morning to each and every one of you out there. Just come on in. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. And as I said before, we are the church. The church is in us, not the church house. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and use copyright claim 107 for educational purposes only. Fair use, fair use for learning, teaching, hearing, motivating, uplifting. Because this is what the channel was built on, saving souls, fixing hearts, changing minds. Yes, like I said, that's what it's all about in this day and hour that we're living in. Helping somebody to find Jesus Christ. Telling somebody about the good news and the gospel. Yes. So right now we're gonna go and get started. Yes. And the name of the and the title of this message is All Eyes on Us. That's right. See Tupac said all eyes are on me. But I'm saying all eyes are on us. And what I mean by that we're being watched. We're being watched by everybody. They got speed cameras that's watching us. Yes. They got the media watching us. Yes. They got YouTube watching us. They got Facebook watching us. Everybody's watching us. And we also have people watching us. Yes, we have people watching us. Here on earth. And we also have people in heaven watching us. See, the word of God said it's a, we have a great cloud of witnesses that's up there watching us right now as I speak. That's right, right now as I speak, a great cloud of witnesses are watching us. Like I said, all eyes are on us. You're being watched every minute, every second, every hour of the day. Yeah. But like I said, it's a great cloud of witnesses in heaven that's watching us. Yes. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and run this clip. being watched how fast you drive that's being watched there are cameras everywhere cameras that have facial recognition and can identify a person based on their biometric data this is the world we live in but on a deeper level we are all being watched and our audience is in heaven hebrews 12 verse 1 tells us that therefore since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Did you get that? We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Yes, we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. See, the main person that you ought to be worried about who's watching you is my heavenly father. See, we ain't got to worry about the cameras that's watching us and the media that's watching us and the people that's watching us. We got to worry about God because God is definitely watching us. Yes, that's the one we should be worried about. See, we can't worry about the other people who's watching us. We got to worry about our heavenly father. Because his eyes is going to and fro. That's right. To and fro. See, God, he sits high and he looks low. But as I said, we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Isn't that amazing? 
Yes, we're being watched every day. Let's get back to the clip. But like I said, the person you should be worrying about who's watching you is God. That's the only person you should be worried about. Because on that great day of judgment, that's right, on that great day of judgment, he's going to be the judge and the jury. He's going to be the one that determine where you're going to spend eternity. That's right. Forget about the media. Forget about the speed cameras. Forget about the people that's watching you. Worry about God. Because he's going to be the one that's going to judge you. Me, you, 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 and you. He's going to be the judge. So if you think that you're getting away with something, you're sadly mistaken. Because God eyes us on us 24 7. If you're going to live right, live right. Because God sees, He sees everything that we do. Yes, everything that we do, every step that we make, he sees it. Even Satan's watching us. Or you know he's watching. Because his mission is to pull you back out into the world. Let's get back to the clip. Did you get that? We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. We have an audience in heaven watching us, watching what we do and what we don't do. They're watching where we go and where we don't go, how we use our time and what we do with our time. So now I'd like to tell you about the third group that is watching us. The first is this physical world. The second is the audience in heaven. And the third is the underworld, the kingdom of darkness. Oh, if you didn't know, they are watching you too. The devil and his kingdom is watching. That's right. And like you said, even the underworld is watching you. That's right. The kingdom of darkness is watching us. Oh, yeah. In the spiritual realm, the demons are watching us. Like I said, we are being watched from all four corners of this world. But as I said, we should be worried about God watching us. Let's get back to the clip. And his kingdom is watching us. Their intentions are evil. Their motives are to destroy. In fact, when you deconstruct 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, you will come to understand that we really are being watched because the Bible says, Be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Mm -hmm. Other translations say he is looking for whom to devour. This means that we have eyes on us. Eyes from the enemy. That's right. That's right. See, the reason that the devil's watching us, like they say, he's seeking who he may devour. That's right. He's walking to and forth like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. That's why he's watching us. Yes. And like I said, we have an audience in heaven. We have a great cloud of witness that surrounds us. And watch us on a daily basis. Yes. God's watching us. People's watching us. The internet is watching us. There's no escape. But as I said, God is the only one that we should be worried about. Because he's going to be the judge and the jury on the day of judgment. 
Let's get back to the clip. See, I'm not worrying about people watching me. I'm not worrying about the speed cameras watching me. I'm worrying about God watching me. Watching the way that I live. The way that I carry myself down here on earth. Am I living right in God's eyesight? Or am I creeping around at night in places I don't belong? Where I'm doing things that I shouldn't be doing? Are you reading your word on a daily basis like we should? Are you praying on a daily basis? See, God, he sees all of this. See, we can fool some. We can fool man. But we cannot fool God because he sees everything that we do. Let's get back to the clip. tell you the devil's strategy and what he does as he looks for someone to devour. He's looking to see if you earnestly believe what you say you believe in. Hmm. He's looking to see whether you have a prayer life that's consistent. He's looking to see if the word of God is really in your heart. He's looking to see if you are who you say you are. If you say you're a child of God, believe me, the devil will look at you. He will watch and study you to see whether or not you actually live like a Christ follower. Do you remember what the devil said when he approached God about Job? Job chapter 1 verse 9 and 10. See, that's what Satan does. He's watching us. He sits back and study us. To find out what type of things that you like in life. And he'll bring those things right before you to have you to commit sin. Yes, to have you commit sin. See, everybody who's watching us has a reason to be watching us. That's right, a reason. See, like I said, social media, they're watching us because they're trying to find out all of our business. They're, gonna, they're trying to find out how we live, what we do on a daily basis. Yeah. Speed cameras watching you to see how fast you're driving that car. Yes, to see how fast you're driving that car. And I got these cameras that's watching you as you walk around the streets just to see what you're doing on a daily basis but that's not important because if you're living right forget about everything else put everything else aside because if you are living right you don't have to worry about nothing you don't have to worry about the speed cameras you don't have to worry about social media watching you you don't have to worry about people watching you if you're living according to God's word <laughs> you're in good hands Let's get back to the clip. And says, Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for no reason? Have you not put a hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions have increased in the land. How did the devil know that there was a hedge of protection around Job and his house and on all that he had? The devil was watching him. And in the same way that this world is watching what you do, where you browse, what you tweet and say, in the same way that cameras watch you, the enemy is running surveillance on us. I want you to notice how someone who has a weakness for a certain thing or a certain sin the devil will never offer an alternative, no. The devil will offer an alcoholic alcohol. He will plant thoughts in their mind about alcohol. He will introduce them to people or so-called friends who will enable them to drink. The devil will focus on that. 
And like I said earlier, everyone who's watching us have a reason to be watching us. They have a purpose to be watching us. But God, he has the ultimate purpose for watching us. Yes, because God wants to see how we're living. Are we really who we say we are? That's right, because see, God, he knows the heart. That's right, he knows the heart. Yes, God knows the heart. See, we can't pull the wool over his eyes because he's the creator. He's the one who created us in his own image and, and his likeness. If you claim to be a believer, I would advise you to live that life. That's right, live the life that you claim because God sees you. That's right, he sees you. Like I said before, we can fool man, we can fool woman, we can fool everybody in the world. But we cannot fool God. Let's get back to the clip. The devil will focus on that one weakness but have various schemes to target an individual. In the same way, you will never find the devil to entice an adulterer or a fornicator with other sins like stealing or gossiping. No, the devil watches what you do in private, what you tolerate in private, what you entertain in private, and he will offer you just that. Last warning, if you did not Sorry claim about your that. benefit, pay close attention before you offer you just that. And like you said, the devil will offer up to you exactly what he knows that you like. If you're a womanizer, he'll put a beautiful woman right in front of you. Because he know that that's going to tempt you. Yeah, temptation. If you know that you like gambling, he's going to put that right before you. He's going to lead you somewhere so that you can gamble. Whatever you like. And he knows that you like it. He'll bring that very thing right before you just to tempt you that's just to tempt you the same way that he tempted Eve in that garden yes the same way that he beguiled Eve in that garden let's get back to the clip for you just that so we need to be careful. We need to be prayerful. This is why 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says, Be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. In other words, be alert. Be watchful. Be well-balanced. Be self-disciplined. And be cautious at all times. Why? Because the devil is looking. And this is the most important set of eyes on you. Jesus Christ. Let me read you a couple of scriptures that you should hold closely to your heart. Luke chapter 8 verse 17 says, For nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. We need to really grasp what the Bible is saying here because mm -hmm. when it comes to the... Like you said, nothing will be hidden. It will not be manifest. Like the old saying, what's done in the dark is going to come to the light eventually. And with that being said, I'm going to say peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.